Hi and welcome back to Larand Gaming and if you are new to the channel, welcome. I, I am Larand and yes, it's week 39 I believe it is and uh, we are here once again waiting for the merchant but I do think we're gonna have an item rerun because we are also waiting for a huge update today and that's gonna be the baits update and that's gonna be super exciting and we're gonna do a separate episode of that of course but as for now we are gonna wait for the merchant and while we do that we're gonna take a look at the community. And there is a little less than one minute left. Any time now. And here we have it. The Wandering Merchant has arrived in Port Jackson week 39. So let's see the reactions. Yes, yes, yes. No real reactions? Okay. Hard pass, boy. <laughs> Alright. So let's go check it out. Alright, so we have the Excalibur Road. Right? Ready to chance 20%. Strength 15%. Reading speed 15%. <laughs> yes, okay, so something happened. Well, the bait update dropped and the items changed, so that's why we just uh, <laughs> redo everything. We're gonna take a closer look at the merchant again, and this is what he actually offers today. And I also want to point out the baits are the ones that you have a little icon down in the left corner of the actual icon of the item. If you have an icon here, as you can see, you have a hook here and you have like a fireball here. Here. Uh, these are baits. They will not be visible if you haven't done the bait quests. So otherwise you will only see three items. But since I have done the bait quest. And there is also a video showing how to do it. Just go check it out if you are unsure how it works. Then these two baits will be available at the merchant. But as for this video. We're going to take a look at this bait blade. Which is a new one. It has a rarity chance of 20%. Reeling speed 10%. And a hook speed of 20%. It comes in at a price of 50 shots. Uh, we're gonna buy it, of course. And we're gonna take a look at the second rod. That's Ilse's Rose Staff. It has a rarity chance of 25%, reeling speed 10%, and a hook speed of 15%. It has a price of 55 charge. So we're gonna buy that one as well. And then we have the backpack, Ilse's bag. It has a backpack space of 550. It has a price of 55 charge. So we're gonna buy it as well. And we're gonna take a closer look at these three items. If you're interested in these baits and how they work, very soon I will do a video separate from uh, the merchant video showcasing all the baits, how they work, what I think about them. And of course, these are baits that cost charge. So that might be very interesting to see and know are they good or are they bad? So just hold on and I will uh, continue my tests because I want to make sure that everything is uh, as accurate as possible before I post anything. All right. And as we can see right now, we have a little bit of a conflict. We have the UGC item and the backpack all combined. So we're going to fix that, of course. So we're going to do a reset. I removed it from the avatar and we should be, yeah, we should be good to go. <laughs> All right. So maybe we should actually take a look at the backpack while we are here. And uh, yeah, I think we can stand right here because that looks just perfect. So backpack space 550. That's pretty good, actually. And uh, it's so beautifully modeled. So many things in it. And if you did look at the video how to unlock the bait shop, then you carry this bag over to the bait shop. Uh, and uh, that pretty much explains all the things that is actually inside this bag because it was quite heavy when I did the quest. They have really put a lot of effort into all these uh, cool things. So I like it. I like it a lot. I highly doubt that there are anything on this bag that actually emits any glow. But just to be on the safe side, I need to check that one out as well. Oh, <laughs> okay. So there is actually something that uh, is at least neon texture. So these, uh, I think it's like vials or something. Those are neon textures. Otherwise, yeah, everything remains very, very dark. Okay, so let's move on to the two rods. 
Yes, okay, so here we have the first rod, the Bait Blade. It has the rarity chance of 20%, reeling speed 10% and a hook speed of 20%. Really, really cool looking, that's at least what I think. And I also saw something directly when I equipped it. Something is emitting light, you can see it clearly on the ground. That's nice, we're gonna see, of course, what that is. And uh, before we do that, we're gonna go into a free camera. I don't think we need this extra light actually to do it, so we can maybe just stand out here. Let's see. So here it is. <laughs> really cool. So you can also see this model in the bait shop. Yeah, really, really nice. We need to take a closer look at the rod in the dark. And here is where it really shows that this rod does emit light. Really, really cool. We're gonna see the bobber. I think the bobber could be the dark top piece here. We're gonna try it out. Yeah, so it seems like uh, that's the case. Uh, it's not really extremely visible in the water. It doesn't have neon texture. It doesn't glow anything. I want to also point out that even though it says bait blade, this has really nothing to do with the bait update itself. It's just uh, the name bait blade. So it's not a bait. It's not a consumable. It doesn't expire. It's just a regular rod. So nothing to worry about if you purchase this, it's just like a traditional rod skin, so you will have it in here, just like any other rod, but still very very cool rod. Yes, and then we have Ilse's Rose Staff, with a rarity chance of 25%, reeling speed 10% and hook speed 15%. Uh, we're gonna definitely go and take a look at it in some place that is a little bit brighter because it didn't feel like it did below as much as the previous one. We're gonna do a free camera and yeah, special effect with roses, of course. <laughs> Pretty cool actually. It has some really strong red colors to it. It reminds me a little bit of uh, some other rod. I tried to remember what the name was. It's a lot of details into these roses. <laughs> Nice. So the other rod I was uh, thinking about was the solar rod, but I was totally wrong, so let's just forget about that. <laughs> Alright, so we need to go and take a look if something emits any light or glow. So, as you can see, totally dark in here, and uh, nothing that emits uh, light, but there is a neon texture. I do believe that this might be the bobber. We're gonna try it out, and as you can see, yes, that was the bobber. So this bobber is much more visible because it has this neon texture. Very nice. So that's Ilse's rose stuff. Okay, so what do I think about all these? Well, first of all, I think the prices are really, really good because you can actually obtain any of these items just by doing all the weekly quests. So that's just perfect. They are within reach for everyone, basically. Uh, so really, really good. And uh, if I had to pick a winner, this backpack with uh, 550 in space, really good. I love the model. And uh, since baits also take a lot of space, if you want to use a lot of them, you need a little bit more backpack space. So then I would suggest that this backpack is one of my favorites for this week. But if I had to choose a rod, I would go for the bait blade. I think this one was just slightly better than uh, Ilse's Rose Stuff. They are both very good, however, so <laughs> I think uh, I would go for this one. So 5% more rarity chance rather than 5% more hook speed. And uh, that's why I would choose this rod over the other rod. But uh, it doesn't mean that the other rod is bad because they are both very good, I think. And uh, these are returning items. These are not limited items to my understanding. So they will be available again if you can't afford them this time. So yes, there you have it. Well, in any case, that was all I had for you today. If you do have any questions and comments about this, please put them below. Like this video. If you would like to see more content from Fishing Simulator, please subscribe. And yes, have a nice day. Bye, everyone. <laughs>